Djoser was an ancient Egyptian pharaoh of the Third Dynasty during the Old Kingdom and was the founder of that epoch. He is also known by his Hellenized names Tesorthros and Sesorthos. He was the son of King Kaskemwi and Queen Nimithap, but whether he was also the direct successor to their throne is unclear. In contemporary inscriptions, he is called Neturiket, meaning, divine of body. Later sources, which include a New Kingdom reference to his construction, help confirm that Neturiket and Djoser are the same person. While Maintho names Necherofs and the Turin king list names Nebka as the first ruler of the Third Dynasty, many Egyptologists now believe Djoser was the first king of this dynasty, pointing out that the order in which some predecessors of Khufu are mentioned in the West Car Papyrus suggests Nebka should be placed between Djoser and Huni, not before Djoser. The seal at Abidus names Nimothap as the mother of the king's children, Nimothap. On Mastaba K1 at Bait Kalaf, the same person is mentioned as the mother of the dual king. Dating of other seals at the Bait Kalaf site place them to the reign of Djoser. This evidence suggests that Kaskemwi is either the direct father of Djoser or that Nimothap had him through a previous husband. Hedafernebti is identified as one of Djoser's queens, on a series of boundary stela from the steppe pyramid enclosure and a fragment of relief from a building at Hermopolis. Currently in the Egyptian Museum of Turin. Inatkaz was their only daughter known by name. There was also a third royal female attested during Djoser's reign, but her name is destroyed. The relationship between Djoser and his successor, Sikemkit, is not known, and the date of his death is uncertain. Maintho states Djoser ruled Egypt for 29 years, while the Turin king list states it was only 19 years. Because of his many substantial building projects, particularly at Saqqara, some scholars argue Djoser must have enjoyed a reign of nearly three decades. Manitho's figure appears to be more accurate, according to Wilkinson's analysis and reconstruction of the royal annals. Wilkinson reconstructs the annals as giving Djoser, 28 complete or partial years, noting that the cattle counts recorded on Palermo Stone Register V, and Cairo Fragment 1, Register V. For the beginning and ending of Djoser's reign, would most likely indicate his regnal years 1, 5, and 19, 28. Unfortunately, next to all entries are illegible today. The year of coronation is preserved, followed by the year events receiving the twin pillars and stretching the cords for the fortress Conetru. Djoser was buried in his famous steppe pyramid at Saqqara. This pyramid was originally built as a nearly square mastaba, but then five further mastabas were literally piled one upon another. Each smaller than the previous one until the monument became Egypt's first steppe pyramid. The supervisor of the building constructions was the high lector priest Imhotep. Thank you for watching the life story of Djoser. Don't forget to subscribe and like us.